and good luck. Wanted me to lose one more year, so I had to apply the 
same year. So I looked for the university that accepted the program. Um, and then, um, so yeah, I applied to St. Cloud State University. You guys know about it, right? Okay, so I applied over there. Um, all right, so during that summer, uh, besides applying to the university, I was also involved with USCL, like you guys are. So yeah, I just come over here, study, read college essays. Um, if you guys are planning for a really good university, make sure you plan ahead of time. You know, give SAT 1, SAT 2, TOEFL, AP exam if you really want to, uh, do Common App. So there's a lot of resources at USCF that you guys can uh, look into. So research to the college, and then, do you guys know about US Indian Fair? No. No? Did you have this this year? Okay, so that's like a lot, bunch of universities from USA comes, and then they are organized over here. So USCF organized. First time it happened in 2008, so I was part of that. And then um, during that summer, after all the applications process, uh, I got my visa on May 28th. And then after I got my visa, I had enough information about colleges and universities in the in USA. So uh, I got hired as a USA uh, counselor, you know, even before going to USA, you know, in Alpha Vita. You guys know what Alpha Vita? Yes. Okay, so because I went to White House and then the man from White House, they had Alpha Vita. So we were in class and then they hired me. So I worked there for almost a month. So I had enough information about US University. So I worked there for a month. So you can see some pictures from USCF back then in 2008. I have Selena and I'm in there. I have she has been there for a long time too, so. All right. All right, so on August 3rd, I left Nepal in <coughs> 2008, and then uh, I reached New York on August 4th. So first of all, I went to New York, so. So my first two weeks, uh, I went to New York. So I was in New York with my relatives, my family. Uh, not my own family, but relatives' family, uh, and then I get a chance to explore around New York, so it was kind of time and period for me. Like everything was very fascinating. Um, it was so much fun. So two weeks in New York. How many of you are going to New York? <coughs> or planning to go to New York in the beginning? No. I'm planning. To go. You're planning to go. Yeah. Any big cities you guys are planning to go in the beginning? Or small? Or well. I don't think anyone has got visa, so <laughs> you guys will know your future. But yeah, I did get a chance to stay over there a couple of weeks. And then after that, I traveled from <coughs> from the New York to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Do you guys know where Minnesota is? In the US map, do you guys see that the red dot? <coughs> so that that's where the Minnesota is. It's the, oldest place in the United States. It snows like at least six months a year. You guys can survive over there? <laughs> no? I survived like, I've been in Minnesota for 10 years, so it, it was hard to adjust in the beginning, but you get used to it, so. All right, so, so my college life started. So I went there, uh, it's still a couple of days before my orientation. So, and I lived in dorm, like on the on the campus. So, <coughs> so dorm I stayed in. Um, it has hundred students. So fifty of them were American and fifty of them were international. And <coughs> and each international students were paired with American roommates. So that was kind of good cultural experience. So, <coughs> so during that time, um, I did chance to make friends from all around the world. I think I'm losing my voice. <coughs> so, okay, so this was during the orientation. <coughs> so the dorm you see over there, so that's the dorm I sleep in. That's all in song. So, you lose my voice. <coughs> okay, so you can see
to live on campus uh, your first year because that will really help you to um, to network with friends from all over the world. So, St. Cloud State University, there were students from all over the world, like more than eighty different countries. So, so that was during my first semester. So during that during that time, like for the first few months after the orientation or like the first semester, life was very exciting. Uh, a lot of friends, you know, I had a chance to hang around uh, with different people. Class was fun, and then slowly, um, and as the semester passed by, um, things started cha changing. Uh, you guys know what cultural shock? Okay, so it's like when you go from one culture to another, um, uh, things change, you know, uh, and it's a very natural process. And same thing happened to me. Uh, I started going to um, dorm and like going to class and come back, and then um, you just sleep. So things were different. Um, and I had a lot of spare time. Uh, and I started missing food because I was vegetarian and I couldn't find a lot of options. Uh, for me to eat. But trust me, once you go there, you'll be able to find a lot of different options. So, um, so yeah, um, it happened like a couple of months after the first semester. So it was like in fall 2008. So later I realized that um, this, this is not the way things should happen. You know, I should know why I came over here. So I started getting involved on campus. Um, to keep myself busy, and that really helped me. So I get involved in camp campus, like different organizations, like International Student Association, uh, a community council in my dorm. So dorm I stayed in, there was an organization for, to organize the events for the student who lived on campus, or like the student who lived in dorm. Navy Student Association, pretty much all the universities in the USA, like um, they have different kind of organizations. So university program role, University ambassador. So getting involved on campus besides studying helped me to get uh, make new friends and keep myself busy. So that was the that kind of helped me a lot getting involved. And then following year, uh, year after that, um, I did get involved in different organizations and holded different positions. So all right. So these are like some some of the pictures I just put randomly. Uh, different organizations that I got involved, and that kind of helped me um, break the barrier um, of me getting adjusted in the American culture. So these are different organizations I was part of. Um, I was also part of University Ambassador. I think pretty much all the universities they'll have, like you can get, become a University Ambassador, and then I became that. That's one of the most prestigious organizations uh, that you can get part of. Um, it's a volunteering position, so I was part of that organization too. Um, so if you guys, in future, if you plan uh, to go to the United States, um, make sure you research more about the university, uh, what's your interest, or what are the different places you can get involved uh, too. So, and perks of being university ambassador. If you are university ambassador, for all the college photos, so you get to. Them. So I, I go to them too. So uh, even in like university website, like my pictures are two places. So even the computer login, I get a chance to be there. So all right. So this part of my college life. So so I was studying computer engineering. So my study was going pretty good. And then in the meantime, I was involved, uh, and that kind of helped me quite a lot. Um, so I had to manage time. You know, uh, keeping myself busy. So, uh, my sophomore junior year, uh, I had a chance to be uh, president of International Student Association. So, our university had during that time was more than 80 different countries, students from 80 different countries, and around 1,500 international students. So, representing that student body, uh, that was kind of fun experience. So, we organized even throughout the year. So, do you, do you guys want to see what events we did that, that year? Yes. So I have a video that I made during that year. Alright, so I'll let you guys see this.
this was the video I made like in 2010, so a long time ago. Um, so those were the, all the events that we organized as part of, uh, as part of um, ISA during one year, so during my presidency. So even if you guys get uh, the United States in future, um, So, so you can get involved with the organizations wherever you want, uh, and you can organize some kind of events. So you, you could see there were like a lot of events we did for fundraising, those cleanup you guys see, healthy cleanup. So after cleaning, we used to get funds for our organizations. So we used to get money for our organization, and we could use those funds for uh, different events. So, um, and during that time, uh, I had a chance to get close with, uh, we had board members from different countries, so we had a chance to get very close with each other. Those kind of uh, experience really helped me, so I'm gonna talk about those. So, so that was my, I think that was my best part of my college life because I really enjoyed it, so. So besides that, um, involved with different cultural organizations, I was also actively involved with my organization, engineering organization, that, that's IEEE. Um, and then from that organization, I got a chance to go to different different part of the USA and um, and got a chance to attend different conferences. So uh, you can see once I got a chance to Google conferences, uh, the other conferences. So and then also did few presentations um, like uh, throughout my college life. So one thing I have is the quadcopter. I don't even know why, but. Uh, I did during my senior presentation and then other presentation uh, throughout my college life. So I uh, also got a chance to represent my university at first USA Science and Engineering Fair in DC. Um, that, that trip was all paid by the university, the, the flight cost, the hotel, the food and everything. So yeah, that was the first. Do you guys know the guy in the middle? You guys know that, right? He's a science guy. You guys know, don't know about it, he's back to my so yeah. So that was a different experience, you know. Um, all right, so you guys might be wondering, is there an NSA, Nepalese student? Yes, so at St. Cloud State University, there is Nepalese student association, uh, and they organize different kind of events. So say at Tihar Mai, uh, in the fall semester, and then Nepal Mai in the spring semester. And besides that, they also host like, um, the say and Tika program, so if you guys are wondering, that works in so if you guys will get a chance to say yeah or not, but yes, we do. So pretty much any universities, uh, you go there, student body uh, from Nepal, and then you you get chance to do different kind of events. So I just put some pictures. So. Um, other important thing, um, what what I learned or is really important was during the college life. You, you will meet a lot of community people, um, like the American people, and they are very friendly, they are very nice. So you should use your um, time to get close to them, you know, know them, because they will help you a lot uh, in every stage of your life. So, and you should share your culture. So, so these are a few of my family. Um, sometimes I used to go to their house and cook some food for them. Um, just like we have the St. Tihar over here, over there they have like Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter. So during those times, like they, they have like family get together. So college jobs. I'm sure you guys are thinking about college jobs, right? So during my college life, um, I worked in three different places. Uh, I started working uh, as night security. Do you guys know about it? <laughs> so you know like how in uh, how in college like they have different doors. So it's like after 7 p.m. the dorm gets closed and only the people who live in that dorm can only get in. So they have to show their ID that that person really lives in over there. So I have to sit over there taking people if they want to bring the guests. So I did that um, job for two months. Okay, and then. After that, uh, I got a job of community advisor, resident assistant. Do you guys know about it, anyone? Yeah. That was the job um, that really helped me to grow as a leader. Um, good thing about uh, being a resident assistant, it was like, so you live in a floor, you get a free room, you get free food, 
um, you just have to take care of your resident, your floor students who live in your dorm. So, and you, you have to like make sure the building is safe. So you just have to be on duty one or two days a week, uh, depending on the college. But if you guys can get a resident assistant job in future uh, or look into it, uh, that will help you because you'll save a lot of time, you know. No, you don't have to pay for housing or food. Uh, and you also get extra paycheck. Uh, and then that will help you to pay for your bills. So. And then after a couple of years, uh, I wanted a different experience. Uh, so I applied for a job in admissions office, the college admissions. Uh, and I worked over there for a little over a year. And then my job was uh, help desk. I think you guys know what help desk is all right. And um, also giving campus tour. So if someone wants to visit the campus, um, just give them a tour with the family. So, um, so I worked on campus during the summer too. So it's like 40 hours a week you can work during, uh, on campus during the summer time. So, um, so junior year, uh, I wanted to get an internship of my major, uh, but I didn't get it because I was a little, little too late to apply. Uh, so if you guys are planning in future um, to apply for internship, make sure you start ahead of time. So, so during my junior year, uh, I didn't get my internship, so I worked on campus. So senior year, um, so to apply for internship for me, you have to apply at least six, seven months ahead of time. So like in October, November. So my senior year, I applied for internship. I applied to quite a lot of uh, a lot of colleges, and I got accepted from three of them. And then um, that kind of really helped me. Uh, I was a computer engineering major, so I got uh, intern as a software developer at a company named MPS System Corporation in Minneapolis. So. Tips for you, if you guys are planning to get an internship in future, make sure you apply early and do a lot of research. So. Okay. All right, so before graduation, uh, because of my involvement in different organizations, uh, I got Excellence in Leadership Award. Uh, that's the award that only 25 students get in a year out of like 20,000 students. So, and during that time, uh, even my parents were there. So that was kind of very, I was feeling very honored to get involved on campus and make a difference in the community over there. So that was a semester with last semester. So I also got a position from the admissions office where I was working. So, so that that was like excellent city of the world. So, and. You can see a few certificates I got and involvement on campus, you know, um, different like batches from helping with different events. So, few of them. So, these are not few. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, and then, so these are the reasons like getting involved on campus really helped me to get that excellence in leadership award. Um, graduation. So, graduated in spring 2013, and then you can see my parents were there, my friends were there. Uh, had a cake, graduation cake. Uh, you can see on the uh, right, most down. Uh, so the university, of, the president of my university also came for my graduation party. So I really feel feel very honored. So being part of being a university ambassador, um, I got a chance to get have one one relationship with my university president, uh, and he got, he came to my uh, graduation party. So that was kind of very special to me and my family. So uh, that was my after graduation, so. All right, so what did I get out of college life? Of course, college degree, uh, so I became a computer engineer. Um, I made a lot of memories, so besides studying, uh, taking the courses of classes, uh, um, I made a lot of memories. So you guys might be wondering what kind of classes you have to take uh, when you join the college. So pretty much during orientation week, you'll be assigned to the advisor, and the advisor will guide you throughout your college life, you know, what classes to take, what, what semester. So it's for all the majors. So, so yeah, made a lot of memories. Explore my interest. Um, I get a chance to involve with different things, you know, that I was interested in. And then, so yeah, explore my interest. Um, of course, made lifelong friends and families from all around the world, like especially the friends from all around the world. Gained leaders experience, communication skills, um, time management skills. College life teaches you time management skills, you know? So college life is not just about studying. 
it's about balancing your work life, right? You have to work, you have to get involved, you have to go to classes. So it really helps you um, to time manage. Um, I remember my sophomore and junior year, and also senior year, my average sleep used to be like five hours, five hours a day, so, or night, so. All right, so before graduation, um, my senior year, I did apply for a lot of a, a lot of a lot of companies um, over 100, and then yes, it is a little hard for international students to get a job after you graduate, but you need to be prepared uh, from from early. So even though I applied for over 100 companies, um, I got phone call from few of them. Um, and only four of them called me for on-site interview. And guess what? I got accepted in. I got a job offer from all of the all of the companies. So um, I accepted an offer for a company named IWC Direct. It's a mail marketing company. Uh, it's based in Minneapolis. So I started working there as a software engineer. Um, work life was different. Uh, I got. Um, what kind of different? So I get chance to learn a lot of new things, um, and being a computer engineer, you have a flexibility to work from home. So they give you access to work from home too. So, and of course, you can see I love my coworkers. So uh, that's one night uh, I invited my coworker home for a moment party, and uh, some of my coworkers. So we're just playing some games. So, so yeah, uh, tips will be to find a job before graduation. Uh, make sure um, you have internship in your junior or senior year. You have to plan yourself. So even from now on, like if you guys are planning to go to the United States in the future, make sure you plan what you want to do in your college, like first first year, second year, third junior year. A lot of students, they do internship in their junior year. Senior year must, because if you want to find a job after graduation, you have to do internship in your senior year. So my internship uh, really helped me. Uh, and tips up by early, so. So that was a little bit of my uh, work life. Okay, uh, also, after graduation, so my engineering friends, like, um, even after graduation, uh, we used to meet from time to time. Uh, we used to do Friendsgiving dinner. Do you guys know about Thanksgiving? <laughs> it's like Friendsgiving, so we, we bring food and we just meet. So every year after we graduated, uh, we meet in November, December, and then we have like our engineering friends. Like uh, we, we talk about our companies and and share share things. So you can see uh, have from uh, different years. So and also we do game night uh, just to get just to get in touch with our college friends. Uh, a lot of people say that um, engineers they are social. <laughs> yes. It's very true because a lot of engineers, all they do is like they spend time in their lab and they are very social. But uh, but our I was lucky that our our circle of friends like they, uh, they were very social. Um, so besides uh, being with my college friend, like uh, in Minnesota, Minneapolis, there was an organization called. ANMN, only please Minnesota, only please in Minnesota organization, association. So I was also part of that organization. Um, and I used to visit to my colleagues from time to time, uh, the St. Cloud State University, and I used to help guide the new freshmen uh, if there are any questions or if I can be of any help. So that's how my life after graduation passed. What else I have? Okay. Besides work, uh, I used to attend uh, different kind of events. Uh, you know, being a software engineer, like there's a lot of meetup groups that you can join. Um, if you can get involved with um, whatever your interest is, uh, if you, um, it can be some conferences. Um, there's a lot of free conferences that you can attend. You can go to TED or also like attend different basketball or hockey game or baseball game. Or you can get a free pass from your work too. So, uh, so yeah. Besides work, I used to my life pass. I would say. What else? All right, travel. I love traveling, so. Um, my last 10 years, uh, I got a chance to travel almost 45 states in the United States. 
so yeah, I would pick me, so. <laughs> um, also, like, we went to 12 different countries, so. I love traveling, so. So that's what, one thing I did a lot after graduating from my college, so. All right, so last year, um, so it was been it's, it was been over five years I was working, and then last year uh, I, I decided um, to join masters. I should have done that a long time ago, but I was busy traveling, so <laughs> uh, I, I didn't join masters until last year. Uh, so I joined a master for information technology management because even though being a computer engineer, like I always see myself being in management role. So uh, uh, I joined. IT management, and then early this year, um, I wanted to take a break from my life, you know, a break from work, full-time job, and then work from study, and then wanted to come back here and spend time with my family. So uh, I came to Nepal last March, um, and then I'm going back in a couple of weeks. But um, so yeah, after coming back from Nepal, um, things were different. Uh, even though I came to Nepal like in 2010, 2011. 2016. So three times I was there for like three, four weeks. This time I visited there. So this time being here for over three months now, I get a chance to reflect back on my life, you know. And I always wanted to come here, uh, have a family time, and always wanted to open a company over here. Uh, myself being in IT, um, I got exposed to different culture over there, you know, got the different kind of experience working as full time as software engineer. So. I started off my company over here. Uh, we are working a couple of projects. Uh, that's my company name, so. Let's see. So I think we are in the last slide, but um, some tips uh, from my experience uh, throughout, my, uh, throughout my college life, uh, or like being in the United States for 10 years. Um, be open-minded, always, uh, when you're in the United States, make sure you're open-minded, ask questions like, you guys know there's no questions that don't question, right? So I'm expecting a lot of questions after the presentation. So. Um, get out of your comfort zone. Uh, over here, for a lot of things you want to do, but you are restricted, right? But over there, you can do whatever you want. Uh, get out of your comfort zone. I'm not saying bad things, but you know um, the things that you'll get a chance to explore or learn. Um, always be yourself, you know, because you are special, right? Um, and make, take care of yourself. Like when you are in the United States or like outside of your country, uh, your parents won't be there to take care of you, right? So you have to take care of yourself. Um, always stay motivated um, because, yeah, it can be like some people get motivated talking to friends or families or you know watching movies or reading books or uh, music, listening to music. So always stay motivated uh, wherever you are. Um, work hard, play harder. I believe in that. That's why I have to work hard, play hard, so. And make sure you live your life to the fullest, so. And that's what I did in my last 10 years. So. Life is all about experiencing things, so. I got a lot of experiences besides just studying or like just working. Um, and yeah, never forget to say thank you, so. Uh, any questions? So. So I got one some questions. Okay. Um, as you mentioned that you were the um, you were engaged in IS International Student Association mm -hmm. and uh, and you and I saw some photos that you were in Dasa Tihar uh, festivals and you also mentioned that um, you were in college jobs, night security, community advisor, admission officer. So how did you manage this kind of thing? You know. Uh, I, I, it, it sounds a little bit difficult for me, I think. Yeah. No, I mean, once you get there, if you really want to do something, you got to do something, right? Your four years of your college life is never going to come again, you know? So you want to get as much as you can out of it. It's not just about studying. College life is about exploring yourself, you know? So you have to plan yourself. Um, it happens, so, yeah. And. Uh, uh, and in a in group of international students, how you were chosen as an international student advisor? Not advisor, president. President, yeah, president, yes. sorry. So I was, that was the first organization I joined on campus. 
So any university you, you guys go, uh, I'm pretty sure there will be international students from all different countries. And they should be organized in too. So in my university, I was lucky because my, uh, my university was very diverse. Um, I got involved in that organization from my freshman year. And uh, after being a member, active member for over a year, uh, I applied to be, my friend recommended me to become a president because I was actively involved. I was more active than some board members. So <laughs> and, yeah, I applied for it and then I, I won. So, But yeah, that was a life changing experience for me. Um, leadership wise, all this experience I got, uh, this not only helped me to um, grow as an individual, but helped me to find a job. You know, um, when you graduate, pretty much everyone, uh, when you graduate, um, and when you work for a company, you all work in a team. And working in a team experience, um, you can only get from from the universities, like you know, getting involved on campus. You meet people from different backgrounds, and that's how you learn um, to how to handle or like how to deal with different background of people. So yeah. How did you manage about? Yes, sir. That's fine. I told you, so yeah. my first year my family supported me. Uh, and then from next year, uh, I was able to, um, so I told you that I got a job of RA, the community advisor. So that paid for my living and food and also get extra paycheck to, uh, to balance my studies. Uh, like the extra paycheck to, for my pocket money. Besides that, I work during the summer on campus, so you can work 40 hours a week. And at my universities, um, there were some other scholarships um, that you could apply for. So besides the being the regular scholarship, which is fifty percent student scholarship, you can also apply for other scholarships that's in the website. And I got a few of them, so uh, that kind of helped me to that kind of helped me. So and my senior year when I did my internship, that was very easy. And then I had some after you graduate. The amount of money you start making doesn't take much time to pay for your studies, so um, that may help. So, so how many, uh, how much financial aid can we get uh, if we are planning for payment? Financial aid, I don't know, being an international student, you can get a financial aid, uh, but you can definitely get scholarship based on your, um, based on your qualifications. But uh, I would recommend if you guys are a very smart student and if you really want, have so none of you are planning to go this fall, right? This no. fall. 2019 fall. 2019 fall. So you guys have quite a lot of time uh, to apply for the university. So this is perfect time to apply. Uh, or like start researching the university. Um, do TOEFL. So make a, a timeline like when you need to give your TOEFL. You know, or like SAT one, SAT two. Uh, apply for uh, whatever your major is. Sort down your universities. And make sure you apply really early. Uh, they are like they like early education, uh, early uh, yeah, early admission one and two. So usually like November, December, you have to apply for it, I guess. And so plan yourself according to that. And there's a lot of universities like they give scholarship to the international students. So it's very competitive, but looking at you all, you all look smart, so it's gonna be hard. So so yeah, just plan ahead of time. Um, but yeah, you should be, you have to apply early, so. But yeah, you have to do a lot of research. What kind of scholarship uh, you want, or like, how much you can, you can afford, so. That, that scholarship will last for long. Um, a lot of scholarship you get over there, um, it's for like a semester, year, some university they have it for whole year, uh, or like full, your know, college life, but every year they change, uh, depending on your, you have some sort of requirement that you have to maintain in order to have your scholarship. So, you were the president of uh, International Student Association, right? Uh -huh. So, was it voluntary or were you paid for that? It's all volunteering. It's all volunteering. So, all the organizations you get involved, it's all volunteering. Uh, and some organizations, uh, I don't know if there was any organization that paid. But yeah, it was worth what experiencing. So. Sorry. About uh, 
studying in USA, uh, that biology of women seems to be very expensive. Uh, uh, will will we be able to uh, manage that financially after after? Uh, well, female in biology. Well, you have you have to look for universities. There's like more than two thousand, or there's a lot of universities in the United States. So you can. I think downstairs there's a book. Uh, there's category like for what major, what universities you can apply for, and then what's the fee, and what are the different scholarships you can get. Yeah, so it's very expensive. The, the, I mean, you said the course uh, is annually very expensive. So uh, after we go to that America, right? So can we able to uh, manage that? Um, well. You will have to get a scholarship in that case. Even your family can afford, if your university is very expensive, I don't know if with a visa, officer will give you a visa. Uh, so yeah, you have to get a scholarship in those universities. Uh, let's have to plan ahead. Uh, get scholarship, try to get scholarships. So, and even for biology, there are some universities, it's not very expensive. So depending on your budget, um, so yeah. Advice for this like I'm computer engineering. Advice for computer engineering. Computer engineering, it's a good major. Uh, <laughs> um, there's a lot of, uh, the future is all IT. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities in the United States. Um, even in Nepal, uh, when I've been here for over three, three months and I see a lot of opportunities over here in IT. The IT market is going over here too. But yeah. Computer engineering, study computer engineering, um, you will definitely find a job in that space. So, it is a big market, and future is all IT. So. I was wondering if you could share your extracurricular activities before you applied for the United States. Before I applied for the United States. So, here I went to college, the uh, high plus two in Himalayan White House. I was very active over there, and um, I used to organize events over there too. Uh, and I went to school in Baba Boarding High School in Chicago. Uh, even over there, I was very active. So I have been active since I was a kid, or like during my school and all these days. So I was part of our uh, Eco Club, uh, Fourth Day, and this Fourth Day together. But I was also part of like organizing events during my college, all the time. So I was kind of a little active. So, so would you mind sharing that how did extracurricular activities help you in getting scholarship or getting applied? It helped me to build my confidence. Okay. You know, uh, let me share you one of my story. Um, so, fall 2008. So before my interview, uh, my I had done all the application process. Uh, I only got the I-28 off. Mm -hmm. So before my interview, I attended a pretty part, not pretty part, so the visa info session over there. All right. So during the visa info session, do you guys know what visa info session? So USCF does all this quite a lot. So someone from the USCF comes to, um, uh, someone from US Embassy comes to USCF and then they give a presentation how to ace your interview, or like how to, uh, how should you prepare to get uh, the visa. So during that time, I also attended uh, the visa info session. And after the presentation, uh, I personally talked with the visa officer guy you know, talking helps, socializing or knowing people helps. So I personally talked to the guy. So when I went for the interview, all right, he was the same guy. Okay, he was the same guy who took my interview. And he saw me and he like, your face looks familiar. Uh, I'm like, yeah, uh, he was, I talked with you during the visa session. My interview lasts like 15 seconds. He just said, wish you all the best for, so he asked me like, what major are you going on the computer engineering? He was like, wish you all the best for. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're getting involved, like having that confidence to speak among people. Uh, if I was like sitting on the corner, I would have never talked to that guy, right? You know? So that's a good story. <laughs> 